wealth within. They gave me that feeling of trust. What you learned in the course was just mind-blowing. Amazing. It was phenomenal. It opens your mind up and makes you realise you don't know what you don't know. I've got the tools now. 100% worth it. Definitely get educated. Hello and welcome to Wealth Within's Weekly Hot Stock Tips. I'm Philip Tortevsky, Senior Analyst at Wealth Within, and we're Australia's most trusted stock market educators. Every Tuesday night, you can see me on the Australian Stock Market Show live on YouTube, alongside two amazing professional traders, Janine Cox and Dale Gillam. Now in the show, we answer important questions around the stock market, cover lots of great stocks and help you become a better trader. Today, we'll unveil what's hot and what's not for you, our viewers. But before we dive into this week's stocks, I am joined today by Dale Gillam. Good morning, Dale. Hey, morning, hey. How are you? I'm awake, that's up, good. Up and about, I can see that. I know. <laughs> I, I try to get you up and about today. I know, I was just exhausted. Last week, because yeah. we were at the MicroCat conference, we were up early, late and then up early and all day talking to people. But And we did we did some interviews, which we sent yep. to Hot Copper, so they've got that. But I just want to say, I'm, I think this Thursday, you and I are going to be recording our thoughts on a lot of the stocks at the, at the actual conference, so mm -hmm. all the MicroCat stocks there. So we're going to be bringing up the charts and having a chat about and what we got out of the conference. So watch out for that on our YouTube channel, Wealth Within TV. Yeah, it's going to be very exciting because, I mean, even that conference, for me, what stood out the most was just the, the candidness, the openness of yeah. all these CEOs, owners talking about their companies. And with these microcaps, I mean, they are generally, um, you know, due, uh, news or event driven. Mm. And so knowing when phase two is about to end, knowing the dates of when things should happen and news flow should come in mm. is vital for people or traders looking to trade that end of the market. But as Dale said, um, watch out for our video because we're going to dive deep into that micro cap sector. But anyway, let's get straight into it on your screen right now is a watch list of the top 200 ASX stocks. Now, Dale, mineral resources is a yep. lot. Yep. <laughs> it's a yo-yo or a roller coaster, whatever you want to call yeah. it. But, you know, really, you know, 19.20%. But, I mean, it was only a few weeks ago it was the worst performing stock well, last in the week. market. Yeah. And a few weeks earlier than that, it was the best performing one. So it's really not a stock you want to get into at the moment. It really hasn't shown that it's going to go up. But, yes. I mean, it, that's where you don't look at that. You know, a lot of people, you know, you see on the broker screens, you know, the best performers and worst performers. Yeah. And it's like, it's irrelevant, mm. really. But let's go back and have a, a look at the chart anyway. But what we look at is just broadly what's actually happening, where things are going. I mean, you know, Zipco up 10%, Premier Investment, which is Solomon Lewis, up 6.5%. News Corp, how often do you see that in there? Yeah. Like, I can't remember last time I saw News Corp anywhere near the top. In 10. terms of volatility, no. In terms yeah. of volatility, so Class B shares up 6%. Wise Tech, because obviously um, technology or Infotech was up last week, up very, very nicely, up 5.8%. Um, but look, healthcare there, Pilbara Minerals, another one of those ones that mm -hmm. roller coaster right at the moment, up 5.4%. But you can see a broad section through here from technology with Life360 is in the, in the IT space. We're seeing mining companies, we're seeing... Um, some energy companies, a broad range of things through there. So I like that. Well, that's what I'm loving. I'm loving the fact that the miners are coming in now because mm. we've spoken so much. I mean, Rio Tinto was at the bottom of that list, which is mm. very nice. Um, we've spoken so much about the fact if the miners can get going in line with the way the financial sector is performing, I mean, that's a, it's almost a, an assurity. Well, healthcare, energy, yeah. miners, banking or finance. Yeah. Those four are going. With, and um, they look pretty good at the moment. I mean, materials was only up like less than half a percent last week, but it was good that it wasn't down. Right. But are we going to see a change in it? We're just waiting for the market to bottom and this can't pull back and then take off from that. But let's go back to the list anyway and, and have a look at the worst performers um, from last week. Just a quick look. And you've got Paladin, another one of these roller coaster ones mm -hmm. that, um, you know, right at the moment, I'd be staying out of this at the point at, at Looking at the chart there, you can see the chart on the, the very, very right there. That's a monthly chart. Not looking super great, but, you know, AGL Energy down 9.7. You know, Lion Town Resources 8.99. Woolworths down 8.84. So, you know, Guzman and Gomez, you know, I mean, have a look at that stock. I mean, that's way overdue for a pullback. I actually didn't like the float on this, and I didn't think it would do any well, and I was wrong. Yeah. You know, it went from, you know, you know low 20s to up to $40, but... To me, that was just pure FOMO or speculation. Well, it often uh, happens. Mm, it often happens. Um, so I would expect that to keep falling, and I think you'd be able to buy it cheaper in the next six months than what you could have bought it on the float. That yeah. would be my guess at the moment. But not looking too bad, is it? 
Well, I mean, you've got uh, what's interesting to me, Star Entertainment Group. It was quite funny because we had, um, I think, uh, wow. someone mentioned after we we picked it as a, not a hot stock tip. It was a buy. So, I mean, you know, it's I don't know whether that was a joke or not. But who uh, picked it? Uh, so, some gentleman in the in the comment section, I, I believe, said, you know, yeah. get ready for the buy, which um, you know, you really need to do. Uh, uh, heed caution when okay. stocks are falling out of bed. I don't normally look at the recommendations on YouTube comments. No. no. Sometimes <laughs> I do. I like to see who's uh, <laughs> saying hello or not. But anyway, so what's hot in the market this week? Well, on your screen right now is my hot stock tip for the week, which is Judo Capital uh, stock ticker code JDO. So on your screen, obviously, are the wow. monthly and weekly charts. Yes. This wow. Finance sector looking good. Smaller Isn't peer it? finance company, but doesn't get much better than that, does it? No, and I mean, speaking to your point about what you just mentioned with the Guzman and Gomez situation, um, what you do often find six to 12 months after these stocks do list IPO, they do experience the downward move only to then find their feet a lot later and then obviously get that real run up, let the euphoria speculation eke its way out of the market and then see where the value uh, lies. But with this one, you know, since making the all-time low in October 23, this run up has been tremendous. I mean, mm. huge buying in January 24, no pullback. In fact, what it did was consolidate. And we can see it better on the weekly chart through here. Yeah. Real strong accumulation. And now it's breaking out again. What The only thing that is, I guess, something to think about with this kind of stock, because really in terms of uh, future support and resistance, you don't really have too much. I mean, there's a level through here on the weekly, which I will mark up for you where the stock is kind of approaching right now. But looking, uh, you know, it's closed above it on the weekly chart. So that could have blown through there uh, in terms of a level. But as stocks rise in trend, they do change gradients. They do. And as it gets steeper, you can see we've marked these two trend lines through here. It's getting steeper in this second move. Generally, you know, two to three, four moves in uh, additional steepness or as the stock gets steeper, that generally signals the end of these, um, you know, runs. So although we are seeing, you know, very nice volume coming in, that's a bonus. We are seeing the trend accelerate. It's important that at some point, once it gets too, too steep, there will come a point in time where this stock will fall away. So right now, whilst it is in a very nice trend, whilst it's making higher highs, higher lows, not too much resistance above it on the upside. It's all about, as we say, get that opportunity right. You know, find your moments to get in and ride this uh, momentum and volatility that's coming because it is beautiful at the moment. You just got to look at it. Everything runs in time and price on the stock market. And, and that's how you can measure it and to me it's like a pair of scales mm. if you're measuring price and time and what's actually happening you can determine if something's right and running faster in time and slower in price or faster in price and time and you if you're doing price and time together and they're both running faster you've got a great stock and if we have a quick look at the monthly chart on this if you go back look at this what it fell in time and price here it's made up more than half of that in a lot less time. Yes. So this is saying there's a lot of strength in time and price. And I'm trying to keep it very high level here for everybody, mm -hmm. but I love what you've got here. I think this is a smashing stock, um, and I think there's a lot more legs in that. Yes, ride the trend while it's there. All right, well, that is it for my hot stock tip. Now we're moving on to a stock that should make you proceed with caution. Homeco Daily Needs Read Stock Ticker Code HDN. Wow. Obviously on the screen are the monthly and weekly charts. I've never looked at this stock before. Yeah. It's, it's color cool. surprises, aren't you? And it, well, it's in the top 200 and it kind yeah, of sneaks it? its way under it's the radar. Its way in there. Yeah, wow. but what's what's real interesting, obviously, the monthly here, $1.45, you can see how strong mm. that has been as support, holding this stock up pretty much for its entirety. Uh, it's in a REIT. That's why you like it. Oh, I don't mind the REITs at the moment. <laughs> They're actually um, looking, lining up very nicely. But um, in terms of longer term momentum, given it is coming out of the all time low in October, it's always important to identify that significant reversal turning point um, and you know, nominating the best times where that is confirmed. And right now we've got a break of that long-term momentum mm. trend line through here. That's the first tick. We are seeing series where, that, where, where it is bouncing to this $1.40 or $1.15 level on the flip side, forming a higher base relative to the all-time low. That's a second tick, but we are stuck sideways at the moment. Yeah. And if we move to the weekly chart, we found real strong support in the um, you know, short to medium term at $1.20, which is very nice. But you know, to, add, uh, to play devil's advocate, we're not breaking above $1.30. Mm. And that's the issue right now with this one, which is why it's a caution. We are stuck sideways. Long term, I believe we have broken or turned the corner. Um, a nice break above $1.31, $1.32. That would really signal, hey, we're going to break back uh, out into trend. 
And we are seeing volume tick up again, which is quite nice when you do see it in these periods because there is obviously some big um, money flowing in through here, which could signal, you know, that I guess tightening con uh, contraction type period before we get that next big bust out. So early buying, if you will. But um, I mean, that's why it's a caution, a bit early. Well, I wouldn't jump early on this stock. I mean, you know, people see this, you know, trending between, if I bring up the chart so we can see it a little bit better, but people jumping in and trying to make that move, if you've got that, um, you know, from that lower line there to there, we're seeing it's only 8 percentage. So, you know, you get some of these short-term traders trying to jump in and trade these moves between these two support and resistance levels, but it's really not worth your while. Well, the better um, move is on the break. Not unless using high leverage. Yeah. And you probably wouldn't be using high leverage on a stock like this, mm. you know, because it is a lower end of, of the market. But um, to me, I'd be waiting until it gets through all this sort of level through here, this dollar thirty level. And if it can get through that, close above it on a month, I'm, I'm loving it. Mm. Um, but at the moment, last week, you know, it opened a little bit lower, tried to go through, came right back and closed in that top half of the bar. So it is looking better. So we probably still will see a move up this week. But we need to see, you know, four weeks or five weeks moving straight up because it really hasn't done it through this whole period right back from, you know, over a year now. So nearly two years that it really hasn't had four weeks straight up. And, and we need to see something sustained move up. Yeah, and it's only ever like, I mean, if we just analyze this period through here, it's only ever really closed above that $1.30 once, once, which was, what's that, the 15th March. of March. Mm. So I mean, I'm with you, a, a nice monthly close above this level would be the first signal. And then, you know, even the safer trade would be let it break through and see what it does on the flip side um, mm. uh, in terms of a pullback. But I do like it. Keep watching it. Keep watching it. All right. Well, lastly, what's not hot in the stock market this week? Well, Ramsey Healthcare stock ticker code. RHC. So let's get into the charts now of Ramsey. And I mean, uh, wow, still failing to give us some kind of reversal. I mean, a, a stock in a, an amazing sector. Mm. Um, you know, we've, we've been speaking off air about not only, um, obviously, one branch of tech is the health tech sector. And, you know, out in the US right now, the most amount of seed capital that is being pushed is in this healthcare, is in this healthcare. Health, uh, health tech space, if you will. And wow. I mean, uh, right now the chart isn't giving us any any cause for happiness, but- Look at this. Yeah. You know, we've got one top there from September 2016 at $84.08. And then we've got a second top there at $84.58. If that's not a big sign that there's some bearishness coming through, mm -hmm. there's a big sign because <laughs> uh, it couldn't get through that. Now it's broken through this low here, which is our, um, COVID low on this one because you know, it was March 2020. It was a big dip down. It's broken through that. But to me, it's it's got further to go. You know, if it's, this is the tie, you know, 80 was it was again $84. Yep, yeah, we're going south. It's got a lot more to go. Yeah. And, and you know, it's been respecting this downtrend line, which really speaks to the fact that this is in a, in a downtrend. I mean, you know, that's just the, the pure and simple uh, fact of it. And, you know, in terms of support, you look through this whole period through here, there's not really any real significant support. In fact, if you go all the way back down to these levels through here is where you might be starting to find some significant levels of support, which is far away from when the stock is right now. Now, I'm not saying that that's where it's going to get to, um, but I am saying follow this, uh, I guess, momentum line as a first port of call. Um, for Shorting it. stock, I mean. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's heading for 30 bucks. Absolutely. Maybe 28 bucks. Yep. And, you know, it, was, it didn't have the beef. We just go to the weekly chart to see maybe if there is some signs of uh, hope. But, I mean, look at this. Huge selling 30th of August. Yeah. Came in to test the selling. That's a big sign for me even in the short term that, hey, because often you might find these mm. kinds of moves be blowout moves. Yeah, yeah sometimes you can. It mm. could signal the end, you know, of the selling. But the fact that it's come up, had a test and really resumed on with the downtrend very significantly. Stay away um, until things get better. I agree with you. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching this edition of Wealth Within's Weekly Hot Stock Tips. Remember to tune into the live Australian stock market show on YouTube from 7 p.m. Eastern time every Tuesday night. To find us, just type Wealth Within Live in the YouTube search. And remember to have your phone ready to call in live to speak to us so we can answer your questions. The number is 039290-9988 or you can email into the show right now by sending your questions to info at wealthwithin.com.au. Now, if you want a copy of Dale's first book, you can still get it for free. You just have to pay the shipping. You can order it from our homepage, wealthwithin.com. Dot au. And I hope you've enjoyed today's episode and thank you very much 
Dale, for your excellent comments today. Uh, that's my pleasure, and I really I enjoy doing this actually mm. with you because it's a lot of fun chatting about the market. And well done for all the stocks you've got today. But I uh, watch out for our YouTube recording on the MicroCat conference later in the week. But I do look forward to chatting with everyone tomorrow night on the Australian Stock Market Show live on YouTube. All right. Well, thank you again very much, Dale, and thank you all for watching. For now, goodbye. Good luck and good trading.